You know, if you've got a golden retriever child, then first of all, you are blessed beyond measure because these are the kinds of kids that when you set them down, they'll play right where you want them to, you know, to play. If, if this is your first child, though, that's not fair because uh, if this is your first child, they're so easy and low maintenance. Of course, then you have a lion child and you're wondering what happened. It's not working. And then you have an otter kid and you're thinking, boy, it's got to be ADD, right? But the golden retrievers are sensitive and caring and compassionate. Let me give you a quick example. Um, in our home, we have a purebred golden retriever child with papers. I mean, really a sensitive, nurturing kid. You just look at her and she would tear up. You don't have to correct her just with any kind of roughness. I mean, you just look at her and she melts. Well, we're, we're uh, watching TV one day. She's about five years old and she stands up right in the middle of the TV program, and she goes, oh, real dramatic, and starts walking down the hallway. And so I go, come back here, come back here. And so she comes back in, and there's nothing blowing up on the TV screen. It wasn't like there was something that upset her she was watching. She had just thought of something that happened at school that day. And she goes, well, Daddy, I just remembered something that I did at school today, and I'm sending myself to time out. <laughs> Now, and of course you go, okay, well, have fun. Don't stay too long. <laughs> okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Do these kids send themselves to timeout? No, they send you to timeout and you better like it, you know. But if you've got this golden retriever sensitive child, then keep a couple of things in mind real quickly. Number one is these are the kinds of kids that need you. Now, I know you don't think they do because they're, they're not the ones waving a flag and saying, hey, talk to me, do things with me. The golden retriever kid can be so low maintenance, sometimes we don't think they need us. But you know what? They need us to be sitting right beside them. This is a great kid to read a story to for example, and they'll listen to every word while they're right next to you. That's so important. Make great eye contact with a golden retriever. It says in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament, it says, bright eyes makes the heart glad. You know what? Brighten up your eyes because they are so sensitive that when you brighten your eyes, they think, wow, they like me. <laughs> and that's really important for that golden retriever, for them to know that you care about them, that you love them, and, and that you accept them. So if you've got that golden retriever kid, say, thank you, Lord, because who knows, you may end up with a lion.